First of all, I was born blind and have never seen light or darkness. My life changed when my stepmom came home and my mother had left. It was too much of suffering, of course. I learned to do everything, like life skills, but in a harsh way, one would desire to have the mother around. But the challenges I faced at school were that the materials, the learning materials were, were not in Braille, even though I had learned Braille. It, some teachers did not have skills, uh, inclusive skills to teach all students, yet I was in a mainstream school. Every time you won in a class, students would refuse to read for you because you win them the following term. But I thank God that I, I went for law on government. I started now working, uh, doing applications for jobs after school. People didn't believe me. They would say, yeah, oh, you're a lawyer, how will you manage to work? Uh, are you sure? Can you work in a law firm? So finding jobs was really difficult, but I volunteered with the Uganda Society for Disabled Children for six months, and then after I was given a job to lead as a senior policy researcher of being an advocacy. I did radio talk shows about the rights of persons with disabilities, TV talk shows, and then they gave me a contract for five years, but I had to leave to go for my master's, so I lost it. Living in the UK was really difficult because here <laughs> the African culture is very supportive. Even a stranger will help you, but in the UK it wasn't like that. You depend on a personal assistant who is paid per hour and also accessing places wasn't easy because I wasn't used to the way, uh, the UK way of doing things. Even before COVID, I also got a scholarship for my PhD with the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. Uh, the application process was competitive, but I thank God that I got it. I'm now doing data analysis, which is a bit difficult and complicated amid its many demands and responsibilities. But I still thank God and I know that next year I will be a doctor. Persons with disabilities uh, will always experience challenges, but they, the solutions come from us. We have to strive hard to reach where we want to reach because life is not a straight line. We shall always find injustices, mistreatment because of the culture, and the stigma associated with disability. But all those can be disregarded if you uh, show your potential.